Hi there folks, this is Big Doug Outdoors. Today I want to do um, a little uh, bait alarm review. I know with my last video I posted out there, there was um, a time when my bait alarm went off and I talked about maybe doing a little review on them. So this is uh, what I'm going to be doing today, doing that little review. Anyways, um, there is four different types little bait alarms that I've seen uh, one of them I know some people that were using them and said they wasn't no good the other one I'm not for sure with uh, I will show you pictures of them real quick and let you look at them see what you think about them and do a little review on uh, the one with the uh, prongs on the side uh, so go ahead and take a look at those real quick and then I'll get back with you and do a little review on them So there you go, folks. You've seen a picture of the bait alarm uh, I just showed you. Um, there's actually two types of that. Um, there's another one that's a square that's a little different, but it works the same same way basically. So, um, and I'm not for sure if the other one is you can adjust the sound up and down. Um, but I know the one that the picture I showed you of, you cannot adjust the sound, and they don't work at all with bait caster reels um, unless you lock the reel down to where it does not um, let any line out uh, without using your bait clickers I like using my bait clickers because whenever I'm setting with my poles I'll use bait clickers over bait alarm every day but there's times you know I like to walk around while I'm fishing talk to maybe some other people nearby me and so sometimes you can't hear your bait clickers going off because uh, the noise or, you know, you talking or something. But anyways, uh, that's why I, I recommend using bait alarms. And also for when nighttime when you're um, camping out or something like that, you can set them up, leave them out all night in front of you and you can hear alarm go off. Um, there's uh, several YouTubers that do use those style, uh, which is nothing wrong with them. I'm not going to say they're no good or no count, but for what I need, they don't work for me. Um, you can order them off of Amazon as well um, in a package of, I think, I think two, three, and uh, four. I'm thinking that's what it was. But anyways, um, they're not for me because they just don't work for my bait casters. So I'll, that's one reason why I don't use them. Um, and you can't adjust the sound up on them or anything or turn the sound off. So the next one I'm going to show you here real quick that I have that I actually purchased and I'm not too thrilled with it. It just one of those things that I was trying thinking and didn't really uh, do more research on it like I should is these here. Uh, this one actually has got a little wheel on the inside um, that spins. Uh, that's one reason why I bought it was thinking, oh, okay, well maybe this will work better with my bait caster reel. Well, it turns out it's not very loud and the little light is not very big. As you can see, you can barely see it. I have to bring it real close to show you. The light is not very um, big at all. And it's not as bright as what I like. So I'm going to show you what it sounds like real quick. Um, I'm going to use my little pause medicine thing here. Where I've been down sick. So as you can see. It slides in there. Your line slides through that little. See, that's what it sounds like. As you can hear, it's not very loud at all. Um, the light is not real bright or big like the other ones that I looked at. And you can't adjust the sound on it at either. And not only that, this one takes little watch batteries that you buy at Walmart uh, for your little, um, little lighted uh, bobbers that you see there. The little round ones and the ones that's kind of little, kind of comes to a point. Anyways, um... Those are the type of batteries it takes in it. And also, to get this to work, as you can see, there's a little switch in here that pushes down whenever you put straps on, strap it to the pole. And it, and it don't hurt the rod at all, believe it or not. Uh, it doesn't scratch or nothing. That's one thing I liked about it. Uh, but it just was not loud, and this light is not big enough or bright enough for what I was wanting. And the straps on them, the original straps that was on this, broke off. Uh, within about 
about three weeks, uh, three times using them, using this, and I ended up throwing them away, and I had to take a Dremel tool because there was a little, little post that stuck up off of here. It was real tiny, round diameter, about maybe I want to say about eighth inch in diameter, and the little rubber straps it had on it. One end stayed on there, and then the other one kind of wrapped around your rod. And to to uh, fasten it down, it had little holes that set down on that little um, little post that stuck up. Uh, they ended up tearing up real easy. They they weren't made very well. And you got to have the have something on here to push this little button down, or it won't work because that's a shut off button. And I ended up going to the dollar store and buying these little Velcro straps and super gluing them on uh, to get it to work. That's about the only thing I can get it to do. And I didn't like it because you couldn't adjust the sound and it just wasn't loud enough what I wanted. And the, the light, if you didn't have it facing towards you or anything, you never wouldn't know you had a bite if you were uh, like 30 or 40 feet from it. You never would siren and loud, loud enough. So then... I looked around, and, I, and the reason why I bought those, because, again, I used bait casters, and I needed something with a wheel to turn. So then I got went back on Amazon, looked around, and I debated about buying these right here, this style. Uh, it took me about a month or two to finally uh, to purchase a couple of these. They're not, you know, awful expensive. That's I mean, these are pretty cheap little bait alarms. I think they're around eight or nine bucks a piece. I bought two of them. I'm planning on buying a couple more. They work really good, um, especially if you want, like, again, if you want to take a nap or if you walk away like I do a lot of time. Uh, I like to talk. My son always tells me I talk too much when I get out there fishing around somebody. And it's kind of fun to get to know people a little better. Um, I'm not only out there to catch fish, but also have a good time. So, but anyways, uh, this bait alarm does work wonderfully. And I'll show you, uh, talk to you a little bit about it. Um, it's got the switch to shut it, turned it off and on. This little knob here, but the knob I don't like. I wish it would stick out a little bit, but it can't because the arm goes over top of it like that to come on and off. Um, this little knob, you have to take your finger and just kind of turn it on and off. Uh, that's your, for your sound. Your sound comes out of this little thing here. That's your little horn, I call it. And then... You can set the sensitivity of this arm by this little switch. I'll show you real quick. Right here. You can hear it. See how easy this is? It's real simple and easy. And then you go away from it, the more tighter it gets uh, to, for this to be pushed down. And I usually like my set uh, a, little, a little sensitive. And it works really well for bait casters because this has got a little wheel on here as well as you can see it spins. So and it's got a little groove that where you can put your line in. And then also, let's say if the line goes down real hard, the fish is running real hard, this has got two little magnets and it swings out as you can see. You can see the two little magnets. This will swing out, the line will fall off, and then keep going so that way uh, you don't break the little arm, which is pretty clever, I think, with that part. Um, and then, also what I like about this is it takes AAA batteries. You can find AAA batteries anywhere, as you know. So that, that kind of makes it nice, too. It takes two of them. And then, I like, too, the strap. The strap is a really heavy-duty, uh, to me, it's kind of a really heavy-duty uh, strap for um, uh, rubbery type material where it straps around your rod and it's got the uh, same type material down here at the bottom. Uh, it's plastic here, a little uh, kind of half moon shape or whatever you want to call it, to where your rod is set down in there nice and tight and it's got rubber down in here. The way it grips the rod and it won't spin or nothing. Uh, it makes it nice too. But other than that, this is all around a really good little unit. I uh, highly recommend getting you one of these, uh, especially if you fish at night. You can use this for spin rods and also uh, um, bait casters. And also, I'll show you a little demonstration with it. To me, this here, this little arm's got a double trigger. 
And what I mean by a double trigger, I'll show you real quick. I'll turn it on. And there's the light I forgot to tell you about. See, let's say, say the fish takes off running with it. it. It automatically comes on. I got the sound turned off, but I'll turn it on just a little bit to show you what it's like. And then also if the fish is running back towards the bank, the alarm, the alarm will go off too as well. Uh, it'll pull, the little lever will pull up when you got your string wrapped over it. And then when you, when the fish is running, it'll go off. Or when the fish lets off of it, or it's running back towards the bank, it'll go off. Which is really nice. I'll turn this off real quick. And then I'll turn the sound on. It's pretty loud little sound. Trust me. It's plenty loud enough. You can adjust it. And what I like about with uh, using it without the sound going off, let's say you're around an area where there's a lot of people fishing at, and you don't want them to know that you're getting bites or anything. So the little light will indicate on and off when you do get a bite. So that's kind of nice too. And then you want to use the thing, um, the sound. Uh, the sound, like I said, comes out of this little horn here. If you can listen. It's a little loud. And it works on both ways. And you can adjust it, like I said, to where it makes no sound at all. As you can see. Works wonderfully, I think. But anyways, there you go. That's what I got here for a bait alarm. Uh, I use for whenever I do fish at night by myself or something. Or if I walk away from my pose or if I want to take a little nap or something. I can turn them on and fish and hit it. I'll hear it plain as day. Uh, you guys heard it out there when I was fishing. I did have a bite. Again, um, like I said on the end of the video, while I was fishing out there. So, uh, with that being said, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything about the bait alarms I talked a little bit about, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, shoot me a little message down below. Or, or if you guys find any other bait alarms out there, maybe I can try out. Uh, I know there's other different styles, and the reason why I use these styles is because of the rod holder I like using. I'll have to do a little rod, ho rod holder review on them. Um, they work great for what I use them for. Um, and not only that, when you put a lot of money into a fishing pole, you really don't want to lose them. Uh, I have seen some YouTubers that lost their poles that they paid quite a bit of money for. So that's one reason why I use these bait alarms this style because of the style rod holders I use. And, you know, there is some rod holders that do have bait alarm that kind of fork on top. And it's got the little wheel in it like this does. It's got magnets on the wheel that flashes and also siren. You can adjust them up and down and the sensitivity and stuff. So, with that being said, I just want to thank you guys for watching this. If you see any out there you want me to do a review on or something, Maybe I can get a hold of one. So thank you guys again for watching this. God bless and good luck in your upcoming fishing and hunting here in 2020. See you until next time.